Okay, today I will show you how you can use the Quick Mask tool in GIMP uh, to edit specific areas of an image. And uh, to do that, I will be using this picture of my cat here. So uh, let's launch GIMP and uh, get started. Okay, so let's just load our picture. Go and open. It's on my desktop and... Okay. So uh, now we're ready to start editing, but it's good practice to always duplicate your uh, your layer before you start, so that if you mess up or something, you you can always start over uh, without affecting the main layer. Or we could use it for comparing when when we're done or while we're working on it. So uh, just right-click your layer here and click duplicate layer, and you notice now we have two layers and we can work on one of them. Okay, so to start the quick mask uh, option, well, first of all, uh, what I'll be doing with this picture is I will change the color of the eyes here without affecting the rest of the picture. Okay, and to do that, I will be using the quick, the quick mask uh, tool, and to start that, uh, we'll have to go to select, and, so, and click the toggle quick mask, or there's a keyboard shortcut, which is shift and Q. So when you click it, you notice the, the picture turns into a reddish hue and basically whatever we paint here in white will be selected. And um, let's, uh, let's do that. So let's zoom in here. So I just want to select the eyes. Alright, so let me pick a brush here. Uh, for now I will pick a, a big brush just to uh, do the easy areas which are in the middle. That's too big. Okay, so let's start painting in white. Because remember, whatever we paint in white will be selected. And as you can see, when I start painting over it, it reveals what's uh, what's in the back, and it gets rid of that uh, reddish hue. So now I get the middle, which is the easy part, and I will switch to a soft brush, and I scaled it down a little bit so we can be more accurate. I was also zoom in a little bit and I'm not gonna do a good job here because uh, I can spend a long time doing this but uh, I'll try to do uh, best I can in this short time so you just keep select uh, painting over the areas you want selected okay so we're done with this eye and we'll do the same for the other eye so let's select another big brush first. And switch to the fuzzy brush for the sides. So it won't be as uh, noticeable when we change, when we edit that area. This is too small, make it a little bigger. So we do the same thing that we did with the other eye. We want to get rid of everything that looks reddish in this area. And uh, if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Let's uh, okay. Let's say I I slipped and I I, I did this. Well, you can correct that by um, uh, changing your color, the, the color from here. You want to turn it into black. And black will get rid of uh, whatever you did. As you can see, when I paint over that, it turns into that reddish hue again. Oops. <laughs> so now I just switch it to white again and correct it. Okay, so once we we have uh, the areas we want to work on uh, painted, now we can uh, go to select again and toggle quick mask again or shift the Q. And as you can see now we have the marching ends uh, around the eyes, which means that we're, only the eyes are selected and whatever uh, we do in here is not going to affect the rest of the picture. So. Um, 
let's let's also do another thing. If we invert the selection here, it will not select the eyes, but everything else that's not the eyes. And to do that, if we go to select and invert, I can maybe turn the rest of the picture into black and white by going to colors, desaturate. Um, you have three options here you can choose from. But uh, anyways, we'll, we'll just desaturate the rest of the picture. And the picture already looks kind of cool because um, everything is in black and white except the eyes. And if we invert the selection again, so we only select the eyes, now we'll be working on the eyes. We can maybe go to the colors and colorize. And as you can see, we can change the, the color of the eyes to whatever color we want. And you can play with these settings and uh, pick a color that you like. We can change the saturation, we can uh, change the lightness. So you just play with these and uh, you can be very creative with these. Okay, so we'll keep it like this and when we're done with our selection we can go to select and none and uh, it gets rid of that selection. And let's compare it with our, uh, with our other picture, well, before we edited it by just um, hiding this uh, layer on top. And as you can see, this is how the picture was and this is how it is now. Okay, so just give it a try. You can be uh, very creative with this. You can make some really nice looking pictures. Alright, that's it for uh, today and thanks for watching.